You think you know Mystery Science Theater 3000? Well, here's some things you may not have known about the show set in the not-too-distant future. In the not-too-distant future, next Sunday, AD. Comedian Joel Hodgson originally tried his luck on the Hollywood stage for a while. He performed regularly at the Comedy Store and the Hollywood Magic Castle. A few years later, he decided to take a break from his L.A. lifestyle and move back to Minneapolis. It was there he created the idea of his own television show. However, there was only one issue. He didn't have any money, so he invented a cheaper way to shoot his own show, make fun of other movies. One of the main reasons the show became popular was due to pirating. Fans would often circulate tapes of episodes to their friends. If you watch close enough, in the end credits of seasons two through four, it reads, keep circulating the tapes. Well, our experiment this week, Joel, is going to be sweeping the country by storm. Isn't that right, Frank? That's right. You know all the fads with the young people today. You know the kids today with their loud music, hula hoops, fax machines. But the biggest fad these days, karaoke. Mystery Science Theater 3000 premiered on KTMA, a low-budget Minnesota TV station. The show ran for 21 episodes until it was canceled because the station filed for bankruptcy. However, the show was sold to HBO's new channel, The Comedy Channel, which eventually became Comedy Central. The executives gave them $35,000 an episode, a small budget, but more than they were used to working with. Joel and his company, Best Brains, negotiated to keep the show's rights and to continue to shoot the show in Minneapolis. The expanded budget allowed them to upgrade the robots and new sets. Ever wonder what the robots are actually made of? Crow is made from a soap dish eye cowl, ping pong ball eyes, a split plastic bowling pin mouth, a lacrosse face mask webbing, and Tupperware panels for the body. The original was built the night before shooting the pilot episode. Tom Servo is named after a vending machine called the Servatron, and he's made from a carousel snack dispenser gumball machine. Gypsy was built out of a century infant love seat, and parts of an ever-ready flashlight were used for her eye. She was named after a pet turtle that Joel's brother had as a kid. When the Harlequin is on the pad, and the whiskey haze surrounds his head, William Holden's coming over, Tom and Servo, he's got to flip the fifth of If you don't clown. stop doing your Anthony Newley, I'm going to throw you against the wall. He'll do it. The 3000 at the end of the show's title was meant to be a joke. At the time, many people were adding the year 2000 to their television program. Joel Hodgson decided to rip off the trend and added 3000 to the title. In the theater segments, the robot puppets were spray painted black. The added color helps to add to the silhouette effect. This also helps to prevent the film from being projected through Tom Servo's head. MST3K has always had a fanatic fan base. When the show first aired, Jim Mallon, one of the producers, set up a phone line for fans to call to leave their thoughts on the show, and the answering machine was quickly filled up. In 1989, the MST3K crew held a live show in Minneapolis, and more than 600 people showed up. Dear Joe Crow and Tom Servo, my name is Vladimir Lopez. I'm 15 years old and a devoted fan of MST3000. It is my absolute numero uno A1 favorite show. I live in Tijuana, Mexico and never miss a show. Right. I just love everything about it, especially the songs and plays you come up with during the breaks. However, okay. there's one part I hate, uh -oh. and that is when the mad scientists push the button. Yeah. I wish yeah. it would go yeah. on longer. We too. In 1993, Joel left the show due to creative differences with producer Jim Mallon. Replacements were auditioned, but no one really worked out. The crew agreed to have Michael J. Nelson, who was a writer on the show, take over as host. This led to Joel vs. Mike debates that rage on to this day. After seven seasons on Comedy Central, the network canceled the show. This made those fanatic fans kind of pissed. They weren't able to convince Comedy Central to change their mind, but they did make the Sci-Fi Channel very interested. The Sci-Fi Channel picked up the show in 1997 and aired it for three more seasons. Another campaign to save the show was started, but was unsuccessful. The show was canceled in 1999. Those fanatic fans never stopped supporting the crew from the Satellite of Love. Joel Hodgson went on to create a new project called Cinematic Titanic. Michael J. Nelson, Kevin Murphy, who was the voice of Tom Servo, and Bill Corbett, who was the voice of Crow T. Robot, went on to create Rift Tracks, which solved the copyright issues that MST3K ran into by selling an audio track with comedy from the trio that would be synced up with the movie. And here's a bonus one. In 2015, Joel Hodgson had secured the rights to the show and launched a Kickstarter to bring MST3K back. The campaign earned over $6.4 million, making it the largest film and video Kickstarter campaign. 
Production for the new season started on January 4th, 2016. It'll be 14 episodes and was picked up by Netflix. All right, it's the end of the movie, you two. You know what happens. Say a good thing about the movie and a bad thing about the movie, you get ram chips, Ram-chips. all right? All right, yeah. okay, before my good thing and bad thing, I got a couple questions. Mm-hmm. Okay. When Pedro died, did they call the coroner or a vet? That's it for this episode of You Think You Know TV. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com. 